Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Mama Schmo's Reviews and in this video I'll be sharing how I use my abacus with my kindergartner. So um, before I share with you guys the things that I have done with her, I want to let you know I am not um, the master at the abacus whatsoever, so I don't like know all the rules and stuff like that, but the way we use it in our homeschool is fun, she learns, and it's a very visual way to do math together as a family. Or to have her do it on her own and there's so so many things that you can do with it I'm sure you could Pinterest a bunch of like activities to do it um, but for right now I will share with you guys like just how we're using it in my daughter's kindergarten and then sometimes um, a lot of times actually my son likes to do it with us so as you see there's all different colors my son is learning his colors he's almost finally gotten it down so you can teach colors this way you can count um, one by one we also do skip counting, which has really worked really well by twos. And you could do skip counting. You could skip count by fives. You could skip out count by tens. And it goes all the way up to 100. There's 100 beads on here. I also do fun little story problems for her and for my son. So I say that there's three blueberries that I want to buy from the supermarket. And I want to buy two more cherries. So three blueberries plus two cherries equals, and then she will count them and give me the sum of the addition problem. You can also say that you had, let's say um, you have one, two, three, four, five donuts, and I wanted to have one for myself, and I will give one to my son. And so I want two donuts, there's five donuts and you take away two. How many are left? And she'll say three donuts. We like to do addition and subtraction. Like I, oops. Like I said, I like to do counting and skip counting on it. I also like to do greater and less than on here. So you can do it this way where you are using like one, two, three, four, five, six blue beads on here. And then if the four blue beads on here. And then I say to her, which one is greater or less than and then we will do a little alligator and chomp 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 or chomp 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 whatever is greater and then she will tell me which one is less than so that one's always fun but there's a lot of fun ways to use this with since they're all different colors and those are like the main things that i use with my kiddos definitely skip counting counting one by one color recognition and math story problems and subtraction and addition. So if you guys have any good suggestions on what you guys do with your abacus, leave it in the comments down below so that other people can get some ideas. Um, you can also make patterns. Um, I love patterns with our cubics, but we could also make patterns on here. So sometimes I will do like two purple, I mean three purple, <laughs> I can't count, three purple, two red, um, for beige and I'll do 10 green and then two yellow so if you see that right there so then there is um, one two three four five so there's another five rows of the same color so she has to match it so she'll do three blue two red for beige 10 green and two yellow so it matches the image that I did for her on the top. She could also quiz me and have me do one pattern that she makes up. I also do one more thing. Um, you can do patterns where you're making an actual number, like the number one, like that, or you can make the number 11, like this. You can make the whole abacus like this, but make the number 11. Um, you can also do letters, so for instance, if you want to make an L, you could do it that way. You can make the whole entire abacus an L. Um, I'm sure there's patterns that you can make and have them. Um, I think I did go on Pinterest and I saw that they had these really cool patterns. So um, some are like this. They put them all in the middle and they have maybe two on the side and two on the side here. And then maybe the one in the middle will be here and then these in the middle will be separated like this. So there's like some ways that you can, um, I guess, maybe on Pinterest there's some cards that you can print off and they have patterns that 
your kids could look at and try to copy on here. So that is like the main basic things that we do as homeschoolers. Like I said, my daughter's in kindergarten, so we do some pretty basic things. It's a really fun thing to do along with our three and a half year old son, and he gets a kick out of it. It's really visual and fun, very colorful, and it's not a boring math activity. And I count this as our math for the day. If we do skip counting or if we do counting or addition or subtraction, we'll do it for like five or 10 minutes and that will be that will count as a math activity for the day. So this is really fun. I always try to keep it, um, if they ever want it, I always try to keep it on the table during the day. So if they want to grab it and do it, they can do it themselves. And this is just a really fun way to do math and interact with your kids sitting on the floor and just hanging out. And you can do this spontaneously and it's not a workbook. And if your kids don't like math workbooks, this is a great option. So I hope this helps you guys. Like I said, I am not a master at the abacus, but we have been using it um, for quite some time and really enjoying it. So thanks so much for watching Mama Shmoo's reviews. Let me know if this has helped. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to see you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.